<laughs> hey, hey, so it's Lori Alvarez and we're on Real Estate with Soul and we have today Hasina, our other buyer's agent. She is on today off camera, of course, because she prefers to be off camera, not on camera. And we welcome all types of camera participation. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's so fun to have you on, Hasina. I always love to have you on. So first and foremost, I know you probably just had a relaxing day for Father's Day, right? You got um, to just hang out. Kind of. We went to a party. <laughs> Ooh, who had a party? Um, we went to Kyla's um, best friend's graduation party oh my goodness someone did something other mm -hmm. than father's day yep on it was father's a lot, day a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> your daughter just graduated from high school correct yes she did excellent congratulations thank you and she's getting ready to go off to college yep that's very exciting it is i love <laughs> that well, we did Father's Day. We did uh -huh. Father's Day, right? You know, my father-in-law is 87. Wow, yeah. And my husband is still married to me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I didn't see my father this year. So, but we did do, uh, we took daddy and grandpa mm -hmm. to um, lunch for Father's Day. How fun. Where yeah. did you guys go this year? So, you know, it was fun because my 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 second son, the hairstylist, if you haven't had your hair done by Nicholas, you need to, okay. uh, the hairstylist, he planned the lunch arrangements. Oh, he has sort of taken over making the arrangements for mother's day and father's day. That's so fun. Right. Because I am not my husband's child <laughs> and my, and he is not my child. So we don't make those arrangements and we have adult sons in the house now. So we put them in charge of that. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> Was that easy for you to let go of that? Oh yeah. So, so super easy for awesome. me. Awesome. Yes. So super easy. Uh, it was a little challenging because it didn't align exactly with what my vision for my calendar for the day was. Cause mm -hmm. you know me, I'm such a calendar girl. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I know you all are probably saying, well, you shouldn't have even worked on father's day. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> So we went to a fantastic Mexican restaurant in uh, Costa Mesa. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe it was Costa Mesa. And it was so yummy. Uh, and it was so fun mm -hmm. to see my 87-year-old grandfather, or I'm sorry, father-in-law, walking in with his mm -hmm. little walker and enjoying his food and drink. Just it's just fun to see him still participate awesome. and hang out and play with his grandsons and his granddaughter and his son and his daughter. I love seeing that. Awesome. Special moments, yes. right? Making memories. I know. So to all of our lovely fathers out there that are listening here, we wish you a amazing father's year, not just day. Oh. Keep being oh. the amazing fathers that you all are because you are needed and valued and we love you and appreciate you for who you are and what you bring to the table. That's awesome. That was my affirmation this morning, right? Yeah. You have a seat at the table mm -hmm. and you belong there. Fantastic. Where did you Powerful. come up with that from? Powerful. It was my affirmation this morning. Yeah. So we all know I was out of office last week. Uh, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday and Thursday, I was out of office because I was at a beautiful conference. I was at uh, Rebecca. She was a past guest on the podcast. I don't mm -hmm. remember what episode it is. Today, we're recording episode 91. We're Whoa. nine away from 100. Can wow. you believe it? Um, anyways, Rebecca was on, I want to say she was probably on like episode 10 or something like that. But Amanda will put it in the notes and you guys can find her. But mm -hmm. she did a fantastic conference for me, invited me in. Mm -hmm. It was a test conference. Super proud of her. Awesome. And it was for um, discovering your why. And then also um, she shared an affirmation she gave me as a little gift for participating, a book, a box of affirmations, daily affirmations. Oh, that's fantastic. So yes, I'm still sitting down every morning, writing in my journal, mm -hmm. my positive things that I did the day before, and still reading my daily 
uh, inspirational five minute read. Mm -hmm. Uh, And now I have these affirmation cards next to me. Wow. And so right next to me today's was you have a seat at the table and you deserve to be there. That's fantastic. Boy, did that speak a lot. Leaps and bounds to me through the rest of my day. (laughs) And that was at 7 a.m. And it's what? One o'clock now? So that says a lot, right? (laughs) (laughs) So with that said, we're going to get into our tip of the week. So I'm going to start it with, uh, Hasina, are you a part of any, like, um, City groups or online groups for potentially like a neighborhood watch or anything like that. Um, I am. Oh, see. Much to my daughter's, not, she doesn't like it because I'm always telling her, did you see this on neighborhood watch? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, which group are you on? Not necessarily uh, what group specifically, yeah. but what platform? Just the neighborhood, like the, you know, on Facebook. Yes. Yeah, yes. So I, I follow that and subscribe yes. to that. And do you find great value in that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. So why is it sometimes valuable to you? Um, When they're giving us positive information, then, of course, I'm loving it because, you know, they're telling you where to go buy the precious vegetables or where to go get books and stuff like that. Yes. But when it's the um, break-ins and things like that, Mm. not so good. Yeah, yeah. Makes you feel unsafe, right? Yeah. Makes you feel uncertain about what's happening in the world these days. And and then it just doesn't bring that comfort at home that you're used to. No. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I see great value in that. I personally don't subscribe to any of that stuff just because uh, my husband does, so I don't need to. Yeah. And he'll share it with me. One of our rental properties, we subscribe to the area where one of our rental properties is, and so Mm -hmm. every time something's posted on there, we always check in on our tenants uh, because we like to make sure our tenants are safe. And so that's what we're talking about this week. We're talking about... Well, it's June. National Home Ownership Month leads to it's also National Safety Month, right? Oh, wow, I didn't know there was National Safety Month. Right? Well, that's what we're going to talk a little bit about. It's keeping you safe at home mm-hmm. because as we've been saying, home starts with you, right? Beautiful. And home starts right where you are, which is in your home. Yeah. You're most comfortable there. That's where you find your peace, your quiet, or at least that's what we hope you find, right? Absolutely. Hasina, have you ever dealt with a home invasion? Um, fortunately not. No. Well, I have. Oh. I'll show that experience. Yeah. Uh, I was, gosh, I was 13 or 12, mm. probably 11 actually. Uh, middle school and uh, we came home late we had been out all day my mother my stepfather my brother and I uh, at this time aim and uh, aim and uh, Matthew were not in the picture yet so it was just the four of us and we came home late mm-hmm. and I remember well at least I don't believe Amy and Matthew were part of the picture yet Anyways, we walked in the door, and I believe I was the first to walk in. And uh, I unlocked the door, and I ran into the house because I was so excited to just be home. You know, you're exhausted, you're tired. And uh, walked right in, and the front of the house looked great. But as I further moved down the hall, we had one of those houses that's like, if you're watching me on YouTube, like this long box, right? Mm -hmm. What are the rectangular boxes? That's what it is. It looked like a rectangular box. It had an addition that was not very fantastic. And it was just like long and lengthy. And we were a corner house. This is where my my home house where I grew up, Mm -hmm. right? So it was a corner house, very busy corner house. And we had bushes all the way around the back of the house, right? And then chain length fences. Yeah. And so I walked in and I was going in and I was excited. I was ready to go rest. And as I entered further into the house, I noticed stuff had been thrown all over the place. Oh my gosh. And I looked some more and I saw my room was a mess. And then I went straight to my brother's room. Mm Mm-hmm. And they had busted through the back window of my brother's room. Glass was all over the place. His room just looked terrible. And they had 
taken stuff, I'm certain. And I don't really recall, Mm because to be completely honest, I don't remember much of my childhood. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I do remember this day, though. Yeah. I do remember that my brother and I were scared out of our mind. I can imagine. And I do remember my mother being very scared and my stepfather saying, don't worry, we'll take care of this. (sighs) I don't remember if the cops came. I don't remember what any of that looked like. I just remember that my brother and I couldn't sleep in our bedrooms for many, 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 many nights after that. I can imagine. I would be, I would have moved. (laughs) That was my first experience with a home invasion. Uh My next was when I was 18. I was brave. I was excited. I had moved on out Mm -hmm. into my own space, Hasina, into my very own apartment house. It was this great little back house. And as everyone in the family says, in the not greatest of safest of neighborhoods, Uh I'm not going to say where that is. We don't like to judge neighborhoods and we don't want to steer anyone because we are realtors. Yes, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) And that's a no, no, we can't do that. You Mm want to know crime stats? You can reach out to the police department, give them a local address and they'll give you all that information. That's really good. And I will tell you that I was super excited. I'd probably only lived in this apartment house for a couple days. Yikes. And as soon as I moved in, well, it was Christmas Day. Uh And I went home to mom and dad's house. Well, mom's house. Because mom and dad are separated. So I went to mom's house first. And when I went over to mom's house, I took my puppy. I had a Rottweiler. He was so cute. His (laughs) name was Cody. That was his name. Uh He was my first one. He was such a precious baby, and he was brand new, super small, only six weeks old. Little Rottweilers can fit in your palm when they're that young. Oh, really? I didn't know they're that small. Yes, they are. Oh, I've had a couple Rottweilers. I'm a Rottweiler lover. They show up in my Instagram feed all the time. Mm -hmm. If you're not following me, you need to find me there. So let me tell you this. Um, I went to my mom's and I was all excited and we did Christmas and we da da la 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 and I got home to my perfect little apartment that had little wood fences all the way around it and had some little doors and I was so proud of myself I'm 18 and I'm on my own wow. I have my own apartment do you know my sons are still at home <laughs> I'm sorry. One's one's moved out. One's moved out. Anyways, I moved in. And as quick as I moved in is as quickly as I moved out because someone had broken in there too. Yeah. I've dealt with home invasion a couple of times. Yeah, It's really kind of interesting. It scared the heck out of me. Luckily, the family let me out of the lease because look, people, when you sign a lease, they don't let you out just because your house got broken into. (laughs) No, they don't. And luckily, this family cared enough for me. They allowed for Mm -hmm. me to release the lease. It was so brand new. And I moved right back home, landed on the couch until I moved into my next space, Mm -hmm. which was with my grandmother. I rented with my grandmother. I rented my own space from my grandmother. And that was a whole nother home invasion experience. No way. No home invasions with my grandmother. (laughs) She just was a home invasion in herself living with her. (laughs) Let's make that fun. <laughs> Anyways, I was just like, my goodness gracious. As um, I was reviewing, preparing for this topic, I was really mm-hmm. thinking about home invasions and how they really create a sense of insecurity, a yeah. space of like, I want to come home. I want to rest. I want to be quiet. I just want to lay down on my couch or my bed and I just want to feel safe. Mm-hmm. And now I understand because I am one of those people who doesn't really feel like Oh, I'm always worried when the house is dark. I'm always worried when I'm alone. Everyone thinks I'm the super confident superwoman. (laughs) I am a sissy when I'm home alone. I always tease myself that I'm scared of my own shadow. (laughs) I am such a sissy. If Eric leaves me, Mm -hmm. all the lights stay on the house all night long. And when I had my puppies, they both passed. When I had my puppies, well, they were in the house with me the entire time. (laughs) And I leave the TV on all night because I'm afraid of every sound I hear. Mm. So I am not Superwoman. I am a sissy at night when I'm home alone. (laughs) (laughs) 
That is just the truth. So I got some great facts here, some great stats here from Mm -hmm. um, a blog that I just recently checked out, which is called Next on My List. Visit her blog. It's great. Great information. So she writes all about home invasion. And the stats that she shared were unbelievable. Hasina, did you know every 18 seconds a burglary takes place? Oh, wow. No, I did not know it was that frequent. That's in the United States. Can you Mm -hmm. believe that? That is crazy to me. That adds up to almost 200 per hour and approximately 4,800 every day. Oh, Oh. Now, she also follows to say... Someone is home nearly three times out of 10 burglaries. Could you imagine walking in on a burglary? It was scary enough for me when I walked in after, after the fact. I remember one of my clients, they had called me. They just recently moved into their house, bought it, and they got this amazing alarm system, Uh and they watched the burglary happened from their telephone. Oh boy. (laughs) Could you imagine? (laughs) That's even scarier. They saw the police intrude upon the burglars and they saw the police take them away. The value of an alarm system. Yeah. Right. Now, burglaries generally happen during the day between 10 and three. So guess what? They're just like us. They work during the day too. Yeah. They work in our houses and the majority of them happen during the summer. Why is that Hasina? Wow. Um, because there's a lot of people at home. <laughs> the kids are usually home. No, it's because your windows and doors are open. Ah. Can you imagine that? And they also say the reason that they hit up houses during the summer is because generally you're on vacation and you take your pups with you. Yep. Are you going to take your pups on vacation with you? No, we bought them. Oh, well, that's (laughs) like them not being home, right? Yeah. Well, let me tell you, not my house. In the Alvarez house, when we have pups, they hang out in the backyard. Mm -hmm. So no intruding in my backyard. (laughs) (laughs) Right? So the highest percentage of break-ins happen between July and August. Mm -hmm. Right? And they will break into more houses without a security system than with. Now, I wonder how many people have security systems on their properties. Yeah, you know what? (laughs) I know you do. Uh, It's very interesting. Um, Mm -hmm. I just recently sold a house that had 18 security cameras on it. Wow. The house was only 1,600 square feet. What did they have in the house? (laughs) (laughs) Great question. I love that question. I didn't even think about it from that perspective. They found themselves, their personal selves, very, very valuable. They even included, do you know in real estate, you don't have to include the cameras, but you do need to notify them if you're not going to include them. Mm -hmm. Right. And they included all 16, 18, 24, whatever it was, cameras. Wow. Yeah, you know, they had this amazing, I think it was a full on ring is what they had. They had the ring security system. Mm -hmm. They always shared forward great ring uh, photos of people walking by their house, right? To me. (laughs) (laughs) They they screenshot them. Lori, did you send these people to my house? No, I did not send those people to your house. But here's the deal. Like if you have a security system, you're more likely not to be hit then you are right because it is a deterrent. I know the neighbors across the street, they have a fantastic security system on their property and they watched my husband run into my car in the driveway through their security system. (laughs) So valuable, aren't they? Yep. So valuable. (laughs) They also saw, they also saw when someone broke into my husband's truck Oh. His company truck. Okay. Right? They saw that too. So these burglar burglars can be caught on these security systems. Awesome. So there's obviously a great reason to have them. And if you're thinking about installing a security system, us being Dave Ramsey ELPs, we would and we would encourage you to go visit Dave Ramsey's page, simplysafedate.com right? Simply Safe Direct. 
That mm-hmm. is who they recommend for security systems. You said you have one. What is yours? Um, I have the ring. You have the ring. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We have a ring doorbell too. Yeah. I find it very annoying. I know. Every, <laughs> the other day a butterfly was flying and my ring was going off. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I just find it very, very, very annoying. Yeah. Now, what does a burglar look like? Hey, when we put a for sale sign in your house, one of the things that I say, one of the things that I say to a seller is a for sale sign is going to show up on your doorstep. Mm -hmm. Do not, I repeat, do not let anyone in that door without a confirmed appointment from your realtor. Why? Because they could be a burglar. Correct. Mm -hmm. They could be. And when we're doing open houses, what do we make sure happens, Hasina, to protect our client's property? Well, when it's owner-occupied, we follow them around the house. Yes. Um, especially the bedrooms and stuff like that. Yes. We ask them not to open any closets yes. without us. We ask them, we say, well, if you want to see inside the closet, we'll open that for you. Yes. Yeah. And we make everyone register. Absolutely. And that is for the safety and security of our sellers. Uh-huh. So if you don't want to register, well, don't come to Lori Alvarez and team open house. We require registration. It's just professional. Yeah. And every other person should require it as well. Yeah. It's a matter of protecting someone's number one asset, which yeah. is their home. Yeah. Their home. And we recommend to our sellers, keep Keep your laptops, your phones, your mail, your medicine, your jewelry, your important, expensive stuff. Put it away. Lock it up. Right? That's the thing that can happen. So people, burglars, they love all kinds of things that they can get out of your house very easily. Mm -hmm. Do you know that a house just recently in my neighborhood got burglarized and we were all home? Oh, wow. The neighbors next door were home. The neighbors on the other side were home. And the neighbors, uh, I'm the neighbor across the street. We were home too. And they walked away with a ton of our neighbor stuff. Were they caught on that camera? Uh, no, oh, because no. of where they were located on oh. the on the cul-de-sac. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, shame. Can you imagine, though, like everyone's home, middle of the day, and they just drove off with a truckload of stuff in the back of the truck. Oh, wow. So, yes, your neighbors are home. Yes, your neighbors care. Yes, they're aware. And they still don't see everything. Mm-hmm. And look at, here's the deal. Burglars show up in every kind of normal stuff they're gonna look like they're uh the solar guy selling you some solar they're gonna look like they're the um gas man trying to get your gas read or the water man getting your water read they're gonna look legit yes and they're not gonna have that little burglary red (laughs) i have this vision of a little black beanie and and glasses and black clothes like a raccoon (laughs) yeah yeah, that's my vision yeah and the reality is they come dressed just like you would expect them to look so that they have a very legitimate reason for why they're at your house yeah right very interesting stuff so anything that you have that's expensive or collectible or important you need to lock it up put it away don't advertise it keep it safe can i tell you one thing us realtors i am not a fan every time i see an alarm system on a property i'm like oh no (laughs) I'm going to set the alarm off every time. It stresses me out, causes so much anxiety. So I can only imagine how a burglar feels because I'm just a realtor, right? Yep, Yep, exactly. (laughs) And let me tell you, I just recently showed a property in Claremont and the alarm went off because the agent had forgot to notify the caretaker that we were coming to show the property. So while we were inside, let me tell you, that alarm was doing its thing. The whole neighborhood was aware that we were there. And let me give a big high five to Claremont PD. They were there like that. Yep, they usually are. (laughs) And we were out of that house like that because it was killing our ears. It definitely stops you in your tracks. 
It does. It does. <laughs> that is for sure. So I'm going to encourage you, install those alarm systems, install the security cameras, install the security lights, and be considerate of your neighbors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your light is going to directly influence and be shining in, lighting up their bedroom. We just recently sold that house that had 18 or 17 or 25 or 100, I don't know, whatever, ring cameras on it. They also had the best ring security lights on it that flashed right into the neighbor's bedroom. Oh, I'm sure the neighbors were happy when they moved. <laughs> they came out and they said to me, Lori, when the new owners take possession, could you please tell them that that light goes right into our bedroom where our bed is? A hundred percent. I notified the new owners so mm -hmm. that they could be considerate of that. So guys, be considerate of where you put your lights and so forth, right? You don't want to light up the neighbors. <laughs> they don't really appreciate that. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you want to get rid of them. I don't know. <laughs> Here's another tip that I never think about because you know what? I am a big believer in not taking my cell phone into my bedroom. And I actually get super grumpy when Eric has, my husband, has his cell phone in our bedroom. I'm like, babe, what the heck? Would you get rid of that friggin' cell phone? Mm -hmm. It lights up the room. It does this. It does that. So he's done some stuff so that it doesn't make sense. But did you know that when you're, if if you happen to be home during a burglary, you do want to have your cell phone because yeah. likely you're in your bedroom. You want to have your cell phone near. Yes. And you should always keep it charged. Mm, that's a bad one for me. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I had never thought about that. They also recommend that you keep a solid core door, solid wood core door there as to allow for you. Do you know that like the average door at Home Depot is not solid wood? Really? No, it's not. You could kick that baby down with no problem. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. So just a couple of tips to keep you safe mm -hmm. and um, keep intruders out of your house, right? At night, you're all lit up. Your house looks great. You're all lit up. What do you do there? I hope you close the curtains. Yeah. Because um, everyone can see what's happening in yes, there. Absolutely. You can see everything. When the lights are on, you can see it all. Yes, yes, yes. I typically yes. put my blinds down. Yeah, I mm -hmm. do not. I do not. I leave my curtains open. <laughs> Gosh, I'm just waiting for trouble. Exactly. Sheesh, no wonder I've had two home invasions. <laughs> <laughs> i got to hear my own tips. Leave a light on in every room or leave a light on in the house, right? Look, people don't want to be seen. If they don't want to be seen with lights on, they can see you. So just yeah. common sense stuff, right? Leave the lights on, right? Um, and then again, if you, uh, I, I love this because being a realtor, we door knock. Yep. Yes. And so, you know, if you're a female realtor and you're door knocking, like, Hey, uh, you're more likely to get the door open because you're a female. Cause you don't look troublesome. Right. Yeah. However, you should really be caught cautious of who you open your door to make sure you have a peephole make sure you can ask a question be aware mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. because anyone can show up at your door for any reason and force their way in so you do want to be aware so this is the reason why i don't watch any of this kind of negative stuff at home because now <laughs> when i go home i'm going to lock every door in the house lock every window are your windows locked and every slider in the house i stress 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 when i worry about danger yes so i choose faith mm -hmm. i choose faith so what do you need to do to keep you safe while home one, stay in a positive mindset. Know that you're safe. It's your home. You're in a great neighborhood. Make friends with the neighbors. Make friends with them so that they want to keep an eye out for you. Our entire cul-de-sac, we're all buddies. Yeah. We all love each other. We all care about each other. We all pay attention to each other and who's showing up on our cul-de-sac. So do that. 
Make sure you're just caring for others around you and have an awareness, right? Yeah. Have the security lights going. I mean, what else would you add, Hasina? Well, I recently went to visit a friend of mine up in Victorville and she and her neighbor across the street, they have this little sign. So when they're home, they put the blind up just a little bit. Uh-huh. And so if the other one doesn't see that blind up, they know that something's wrong. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So they have little special um, notices to each other. Yeah, let's I say. thought that was pretty cool because they yeah. were in a 55 and over. Yeah, I love that, mm-hmm. that they care about each other enough to know like, hey, we're safe. Yeah. This is our safe space. <laughs> I love that. Right. Yeah. Just be aware, people. Most home intruders come right through the front door. They don't generally come through any other space. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, my home invasion, they came through my, both of them, actually, they came through my back window. I would encourage you to move foliage away from your house. One, it's not good for your house. Mm -hmm. And two, it just makes it easy for a home intruder to get into your space. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So just make wiser decisions about um, what's surrounding your spaces. Yeah. And if you want to know what stats are like for neighborhoods, again, just call your local police department or sheriff's department and give them the address. They will give you the stats. That's our realtor advice to you when buying, because we're not allowed to lead you one way or another. We are not allowed to do that. That is called steering. And it's a big no-no here for California realtors. I'm just going to encourage you again to choose faith over fear. (laughs) It can be easy to get caught up in the fearful things of life, to worry about the things that might happen. Yeah. Stay in your faith, stay in your strength, stay in your belief, and be wise. Be wise in what you do and how you choose to live. Be aware. Don't blindly walk around the world with your cell phone in your face. Have an awareness of who's around you. And by the way, just look at them and smile. You'll be so much safer and you'll feel so much better because of it. Hasina, you want to offer anything else? Mm, When you mentioned the foliage, I'd seen this somewhere uh, with a movie or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're going to have trees or shrubs, make sure they're prickly. Oh, (laughs) what a great idea. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Every morning I go out and check my roses and I always... Remember, yeah, the prickly's got me. Yes, they gonna get you <laughs> every time. You'd think I'd be wiser about yeah. that. A secret guard. I do love my roses, though. Mm-hmm. They're pretty. They yeah. are beautiful, mm-hmm. and they are blooming right now. Because today, well, today, June twenty first, Thursday. When you hear us, it'll be the third day of summer. Enjoy your summer. Go have fun. Be safe and be wise about how you maintain your house, the way you leave it, and don't just assume all neighborhoods are safe. Again, choose faith over fear. That's your number one priority and my number one life tip for you. Don't live in fear. Choose to walk in your faith every day.